Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. If you're new here, I want you to subscribe for future content to the channel. Secondly, if you have a friend, and we all do, I want you to share this with a friend because I genuinely think we all have areas to improve when it comes to our finances. A habit is an involuntary action. It's something you just do without really putting too much thought into it. And that's dangerous when you're talking about money. Uh, money is something you have to control in order to know where it goes. In today's video, I'll be talking about five habits to avoid when dealing with money. The first one is spending more than you earn. Now, this is basic accounting, and ideally, you want to have more money coming in than you have going out. The problem this causes, though, is that you're spending money before you make it, and you don't have a plan on catching back up when you do that. The second problem that it causes, it causes you to live at a shortage. So you're living in a month-to-month -month situation where you don't have any reserves to fall back on, in case there was an emergency. Number two, relying on credit cards to pay bills. Now, I do want to explain both sides to this. The first side being that this can be pretty beneficial for you if you're disciplined with using credit cards. And what I mean is that if you pay your bills on time using a credit card that earns rewards, you can actually benefit from using this credit card. On the flip side, if you are not disciplined using a card, this can backfire pretty quickly. Uh, what I mean is that if you're paying your bills late or if you're paying your credit card late, not only are you going to pay your bills, but you're going to pay them at a premium. So you have late fees, you're going to have interest charges. The second problem is that most utilities have some form of convenience charge on it. So that way, as you pay your bills, you're going to pay that charge because it is on a card. And the third problem is that as you are maxing out a card, paying the card off every month, revolving credit, that actually drops your credit score because it looks as if you're surviving off of this card itself. So that's just something to keep in mind. Number three, not being prepared for an emergency. Not being prepared for an emergency puts you behind, not only in paying your bills, which could result in late fees, but it usually causes you to use credit or to borrow money somewhere, which usually results in interest fees. For example, this coronavirus, you have a lot of people that are without a job, without income coming in, and you have to think about their bills. How are they gonna pay their bills? How are they gonna feed their families? How are they gonna pay their mortgage? Typically, it's through credit cards. You put this stuff on credit cards where you wait months and months and months. Not only do you have a balance now, but think about how you have to pay that back with the income that you're now earning. Number four, and this is probably the most important one on the entire list, even though they're all important, but never take out a payday loan. The reason why is because they don't do credit checks. So anybody can walk up and pull out money, no problem. The second problem is the interest is high. And what I mean by high is not 14, 15%, 20%. We're talking range of 100% to 1,000%. I've, I've seen the full spectrum. Lastly is that they tie their installments to your account. So when it's time for them to get paid, they're going to put it out for you rather than you pay your payments. The problem is that is you want to control your money. You don't need people having control over your money for you. Number five, stop paying bills late. By paying your bills late, you can have late fees on your bills. Depending if the money's not in the account, you can have fees on your checking account. And then they can also send it to collections, which affects interest rates. The lower your score, the higher your interest. This affects your spending money in other areas. So the ways to avoid this one here is you can set up calendars on your phone. You can set up automatic payments through your account. Um, you have the freedom to structure it the way you want to. That way you can avoid money spending overall. Hey, everybody. I want to sincerely thank you for watching the video. And I want you to leave a comment down below on a topic that you would like to know from a finance perspective. And I want you to share this with a family or friend that can really use this type of information here. Thanks again.